the day comes and so much goes through your mind. What if I don't have my family? What if my family's not complete? What if my dream isn't gonna come true? Telling myself that everything was gonna be okay. And at this time, even basketball did not matter to me. My sweet girl, Daddy has loved you from the moment he knew you existed. He was strong when everything was scary. And he was brave when he had every reason not to be. Morning, baby. How'd you sleep? Did Daddy have a kiss? Thank you. I can't wait for you to understand how much of a miracle you are. Do it without eggs. I don't think it works like that, baby. Yeah. I remember when we were dating, I asked him, like, what are your goals? What are your dreams? Do you want to play in the Olympics? Do you want to be the MVP? What do you want? And he was like, I want a family. Ten of the shot clock. Drew Holiday hard to hold. Drew and I met in college. We both played sports at UCLA. I'm competitive, yes. She is more competitive. I think that both of our personalities just kind of clicked. In our relationship, she's the athlete. I was playing on the national team. He was what you would call a superstar. I went to the draft. I left also to play professionally, and I think we hit the real world at the same time, and we could relate to each other. When I told her I wanted to make this work or have a commitment to her, she said, she said no. I think I told him I didn't want to make him a priority. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, there was just a feeling that made me sure. He had a confidence in me that was always encouraging, was always saying, yeah, go chase your dreams. After the 2015 World Cup, I made my decision to retire. I knew that there was something more that I wanted to do. The beginning of my pregnancy was easy. There was so much excitement and so much joy. But probably about three months in, I was woken up by a migraine headache, unlike any headache that I had ever had. I'm in LA getting rehab, and she calls me and tells me she has a brain tumor. It was... It was unbelievable. The doctor explained to me I had a non-cancerous meningioma at the base of my skull. They were saying, OK, how about we deliver, and then afterwards, you'll have brain surgery. As pregnancy went on, my symptoms just got worse and worse. I couldn't walk in a straight line. My face on the right side, it didn't work. My hearing, I was losing it. I was having trouble swallowing. And the headaches were just constant. My greatest fear was that Drew would lose me and his baby. My focus shifted to like, what do I have to do to keep her okay, to keep her safe? Um, and then I would come second. During all this happening, I, I stepped away from basketball. I don't think people understand everything that I have is because of her. We had our daughter five and a half weeks early. She ended up going into the NICU for seven days. There was so much joy surrounding her that it took a little bit of of the fear away, but once the surgery came, it was, it was indescribable. That day was the hardest day for me. I lived through a 10-hour brain surgery four weeks after I delivered my first child. The only thing that 
I have wrong with me is that my eye is a little off and I'm deaf in my right ear. Like, I have a healthy baby girl. If that doesn't give you perspective, I'm not sure what will. Oh, I found you. I found you. family is safe, secure, and basketball has been fun again. Ask Daddy how your hair looks. Beautiful. She gave us all so much hope. Not only did I want the best life for her, I, I wanted a life with her. I wanted us to have a life together. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.